You know the problem that the people used to have when you're on an airplane, things they would give you besides your drink, maybe your alcohol, they would give bags of peanuts. And you can't find them anymore on there because people are allergic to peanuts. And again, and, 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 and. You can't get this, can't get that, you can't get stuff. Some ice creams you cannot get on a plane. And they got to watch out what kind of foods they serve on a plane because people are allergic to this stuff. It seems like a lot of people are allergic to foods. I worked at a um, ice cream vendor. They got sued by somebody who was allergic to something that was sitting in the chocolate ice cream. There was a nut in a chocolate. The vendor ne never knew that the his supply, his raw materials, that there was nuts in there. Now they're on all ice cream containers. They would say may contain nuts. Yes, tree nuts, almonds, um, chestnuts, walnuts, coconuts. <laughs> coconuts a little bit different. Yes, um, because that ice cream manufacturer was sued because somebody got allergic to the the product. Um, there was another, it, it, that the person who sued him also did this. He looked at all other companies' ice creams. And if he reacted to the ice cream, he sued the thing. It was, it's okay to sue one person, but you start suing a bunch of ice cream vendors who are not aware that their product contains nuts because the original formulas never contain it. And the first time he sued it, got away with it. The second time they brought it in, uh, the, pro the thing with food companies is that it's like a little click. While we're rivals, it is said, um, we exchange information. Oh, yes. I worked for a candy company, and I get a phone call because I was uh, an R&D. I get a phone call for somebody who says, I reacted to your product. I'm suing you. I said, okay. Where did you get our product? He named something. I know there's no nuts in our product or that particular product. It's separated. I mean, it's really separated. And he, oh, he had a reaction to our product. And I said, well, you got a lawyer? He said, yeah. Okay. You call our lawyer. And you two guys can sit down and settle this. Well, I knew there was nothing in our product when he was having that reaction. Because that's that those things are not mixed. You better know they're not mixed. So what was the workout on it? I don't know. It's very likely he comes up with these false claims. A lot of people are, are suing other people because of, I am allergic to this, I'm allergic to that. Oh, yeah? Well, okay. We have our facts here. We run our stuff through a GC. What do you run your stuff through? Taste test? That's not going to hold up in court. And there are lawyers that will defend food companies. I mean, they really run into this stuff bef uh, you know, time. Well, I'm going to sue you because I'm allergic to your product. You got a lawyer? Good. See you in court. You better know it. Um, because there are people who do strange things. Remember the Pepsi thing with the needles in the can? Uh, the guy sits there, oh, I found these needles in the can. Well, they also happen to have a videotape of this guy opening up a Pepsi can in a store and putting needles in it. 
And then he asked the half. They asked the guy why he's suing. He says, "Why did you open the Pepsi can in the store?" No, I wanted to drink it there. I says, "Yeah, well, we got you on video." In in court, they showed the videotape of the guy doing that thing. That then, well, that store was not in trouble. Pepsi was not in trouble. The guy was in trouble because he altered what he did. Was put in that can. Now he finally found himself facing federal charges of altering a food product. Yes, yes, they do that. Now, I said I worked for the, uh, that company, and they got in a dead mouse in one of their products. Oh, a dead mouse is it now? And the guy said, oh, yes, I'm going to sue you for that thing. Another person that they proved that uh, the mouse was dead before it was in the product. None of the product was in the mouse's lungs. The guy didn't, the mouse didn't drown in that. So what happens to the lawsuit? Well, then the feds are involved. And the guy who was doing all this, I'm going to sue you, now is fighting federal charges for altering the product that the that the the mouse was in, and the big company sitting there is it? It's out of our hands, what well, guys? You have to deal with the feds now. And that's oh, you better know the feds clamp down on people like that, and um, USDA and FDA will will clamp down on food that is altered, food that's been coming in from let's say China or India. Or somewhere else that is not like it was supposed to be uh, and if there's somebody here selling that type of food they can find themselves facing federal charges that's right well I didn't know about it by the way where did you get this food again hmm. big com food companies don't like getting sued by little people or even big people and they exchanged information. I, I was testing a product from another rival company. And uh, we, we tested it uh, using uh, uh, gas chromatographers uh, uh, units and that thing. And we found something in their product that should not be in their product. And we gave them a call. Hey, you know this thing? Well, okay, we didn't know about that, but thank you, you know. Well, we we might be rivals, but we're all on the same team. Okay, that's enough of my allergics. Bye.